I friends, welcome to another class of factorial. Suppose you are given the following question and you are asked to express them in factor, not evaluate them. So it's very simple. So what you just have to go about, what you what you just need to be watchful about is how to factorize it actually. This is actually one not that this is one exactly. So what happens here is that the first question that we are given, we are given 30 right factorial plus 31 factorial exactly and we are asked to find express it in a factor form so what we are going to do about this case is that if you look at this very well look at zero 31 is greater than 30 right so we can simply have 31 factorial 31 factorial to be equal that's actually 31 times 30 factorial exactly we can simply join it together you can just say 31 multiplied by 30 factorial right so i can have it like this my 31 factorial is equal to this so here i'm going to have it as 30 factorial can i see it now then plus 31 times 30 factorial so if you look at this video what is the common factor here common integer here the common integer that i can factorize out is actually 30 then let's go ahead and factorize 30. so factorizing 30 i'm going to have to what 30, right? 30 factorial is into brackets. Here I'm having 1 plus what do I have here? That's 31, right? So in this case, if you look at this value, the answer is actually that's actually 30 factorial. 1 plus 31 is actually what? 32. But am I going to leave my answer like this? No, it's impossible. Why? Because 32 is greater than 30 factorial. So I can just rewrite it as what? Well as 32 then multiply by what 30 factorial which is my answer now let's move to the next question the next question which is question b here over here i'm having to what 45 factorial minus 44 factorial exactly so what happens here is that 45 is the is the higher integer here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to express it right as what this is 45 factorial which is equal to 45 then multiply what 44 factorial then i'm going to put it here that's, that's actually 45 multiply what 44 factorial then minus 44 factorial so what can i factorize since my factorial is in front of 44 and 45 i can factorize what 44 factorial out so i'm going to have to what 44 factorial into brackets 45 minus what minus for the minus one exactly so here what i'm going to have i'm going to have it what to be 44 factorial right then multiply by what that's actually 44 again so in this case you guys do you just are you going to leave your answer like this no it's impossible why because this 44 doesn't carry any factorial so here i'm going to add what 44 multiply by what 44 factorial so this is the correct form writing it then the next question i'm having here which is the third one i'm having it to to be n minus 2 right factorial minus n minus 3 factorial on your norms between n minus 2 and also n minus 3 which one is the higher value or higher integer here it is n minus 2 simply i can represent my n minus 2 as what well as n minus 2 factorial Right? Then n minus t d, then I can simply put my factorial here. So that I can just replace it here, which here I'm going to have it, which I'm, which I'm going to have to what n minus 2 and also what n minus t d factorial. Minus what is that n minus t d factorial? So n minus 3 factorial is common here. So I can just go ahead and factorize it out. So that I'm going to have to what n minus t d factorial in the bracket n minus 2. Right? Then what again? What am I having? Minus one all in brackets all are into brackets so here i'm going to ask what n minus td factorial right which is this then here it's very simple this is minus two minus one what's minus two minus one minus two minus one is what n minus td exactly so here i'm going to ask what let me just see this like this right you understand n minus two minus one so minus two minus one is n minus td so here i'm having to what n minus td factorial I should have put bracket there, but anyway, then open up on the put in brackets n minus what td. So n minus 3 becomes first. So that I'm going to add final answer to the 
and that's actually n minus tv and also n minus tv factorial exactly that is the answer so let's move to the last sum the last sum is actually that's n plus 2 factorial plus n plus 1 factorial it's also it's also very simple so what i'm going to note here is that n plus 2 is actually the higher integer here so what i'm going to have n plus 2 factorial to be equal n plus 2 right and also n plus 1 factorial so here i can simply replace my n plus 1 n plus 2 factorial which is this which was with everything here so that i'm going to have what n plus 2 right into bracket n plus 1 right so that is actually put factorial here then plus what's that you have an n plus 1 factorial so what can you factorize here? you can factorize exactly that's n plus 1 factorial so bring it out you're going to have n plus 1 factorial right into brackets n plus 2 then plus what plus 1 exactly you factorize it out no i do that this is actually inside brackets so here let's go so simplifying it further and further so here i'm going to have what n plus 1 factorial then into bracket this is 2 plus 1 which is n plus 3 n plus 3 so now what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to bring this to this side because it is the higher integer value here so i'm going to have what n plus 3 into brackets n plus 1 factorial so that's just it it is very simple just as simple as that so if you guys enjoyed this video please and please please kindly subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to drop your question you want me to solve in the comment section below thanks for watching